Howdy! Since according to my poll, most people passed my last quiz, I'll read another 30 pairs of somewhat more challenging statements, one labeled A, the other B. In each pair, one statement reflects Christianity as first documented, the other contradicts the original understanding of Christianity. Again, feel free to grab a pencil and paper and stop or replay this video as often as you'd like in order to best decide. Again, only one statement per pair is truly Christian. Here goes. 1. A. In response to a foreign woman asking a favor, Jesus said that it's wrong to toss the children's bread to dogs, though he honored her request. B. Quoting from the Prayer for Unity pamphlet passed out at my church, We stand as one people against all racial and ethnic division, denouncing it as sin and not God's will for us. 2. A. When Jesus said, Upon this rock I will build my church, he was referring to Peter. B. When Jesus said, Upon this rock I will build my church, he was referring to himself. 3. A. The number 666 was already known in the first century. B. Adolf Hitler's name, expressed numerically, totals 666. 4. A. Abortion was condemned for the entire 2,000 years of Christian history as murder. B. Compassion requires us to respect the choice of women thrust into unfortunate circumstances. 5. A. We all must exercise a righteous form of judging. B. All forms of judging are sinful, as Scripture states, judge not. 6. A. Christians cannot predict the Holy Spirit's movement any more than they can predict the wind's movement. B. All true Christians can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. 7. A. Because they were more ignorant than others, the Egyptians erred more than anyone else. B. According to Zephyrachi, chapter 15, verse 8, all men are created equal. 8. A. Jewish leaders were considered sons of the devil. B. The ancient temple in Israel will be rebuilt before Christ returns. 9. A. Killing can be sanctioned by the state. B. All killing is prohibited. 10. A. The Holy Spirit revealed the entirety of Christianity in the first century. B. Christianity is an ongoing revelation. The Holy Spirit reveals things when humanity is ready for them. 11. A. God does not dwell in man-made temples. B. The beauty of church buildings are sources of inspiration. They show who we are. 12. A. The state should be able to act as an arm of God. B. Scripture supports the separation of church and state. 13. A. Pure religion is to help orphans and widows. B. Christianity is not a religion, it is a relationship. 14. A. Christians should love everyone, even their enemies. B. Christians should love their neighbors and hate their enemies. 15. A. Christians should humbly admonish sinners with empathy. B. Christians should righteously scold sinners in public. 16. A. There is only one faith. B. We should honor all faiths, as the Reverend Billy Graham did. 17. A. Those who are friends of the world are enemies of God. B. That Mother Teresa was universally loved was evidence of her saintliness. 18. A. Jesus brought bodies back to life who had no faith since they were dead. B. Those who failed to be healed by televangelist Betty Hinn, as Pastor Hinn stated, lacked faith. 19. A. We should avoid oppositions of so-called science, such as some ideas of Bill Nye. B. Christians should embrace Darwin's theory of evolution as Pope John Paul did. 20. A. Prostitutes are bloody whores. B. Prostitutes are victims of male oppression. 21. A. Galatians 3.28 states, there is neither Jew, Greek, bond-free, nor male or female, for you are all one in Christ. This strictly pertains to religion. Gala B, Galatians 3.28 shows that there should be no differences between races, classes, or genders. Uh, 22. A. Christians should tell congregants who offend them about the offense privately. B. Christians should quickly shun congregants who offend them. 23. A. The cowardly shall go to hell. B. The church is a sanctuary for the fearful. 24. A. The highest honor for a woman is to have children. B. The highest honor for a woman is to maintain 
perpetual virginity. 25. A. New Testament texts state exactly what Old Testament principles were superseded. B. Christians should give both Old and New Testament texts equal consideration. 26. A. We are supposed to test all things before accepting them. B. Christians are expected to have a, to have a blind faith. 27. A. Jesus was Almighty God and co-creator. B. Jesus was created by the Father to be his only Son. 28. A. Churches are obligated to help the local poor, and well-off churches are obligated to send money to poor churches. B. Churches are obligated to help all the poor, which now includes the continent of Africa and Haiti. 29. A. Christians are required to control their words and thoughts in addition to their actions. B. True Christians are required to believe that the Bible is authored by God. 30. A. Suicide can certainly be forgiven. B. Suicide is an unforgivable sin. This concludes the test. The answers are all the B statements contradict Christianity all the A statements are true original Christianity. I know this because all the A sayings are paraphrased directly from the Old King James translation of New Testament scripture or explained through the original United Church, both of which are synonymous with Christianity. Besides, many other passages support the text I have referenced. And all the B sayings contradict all the A sayings. Christian A sayings. Read the Old King James New Testament scriptures and early church fathers yourself. See a Dictionary of Early Christian Beliefs, editor David W. Burkott. The truth may not be what you want to hear, but is always what you ought to hear.